so you've got a website and you want to change the fonts. How do you do it on Squarespace? So let me show you first where all the font choices live and then we can make some changes and then I'll show you where I like to go for inspiration and one of the tools I use. So let's go ahead and edit any page of your website. Once you've done that, if you click this paintbrush that appeared in the upper right corner, it's going to bring you to site styles. One of those site styles is fonts. So here you can see that there are kind of buckets of different things that your fonts fall into. So one bucket is headings. So all of your headings in Squarespace are assigned to one font. If you want different fonts, you'll have to use custom code for that. I'm not going to get into that in this video, but you can definitely Google um, change fonts, Squarespace, custom CSS, and there are lots of articles out there on it. So headings, uh, paragraphs, buttons, and if you click through here, you can actually set a different font for each size of button that you have. Now that's a recent development when I'm recording this video. Uh, miscellaneous, that's like for tags and prices and things. And then we have this other bucket here called assign styles. So you can make specific changes to specific things in this area. There are a lot of things here. So we're just going to go ahead and start off with one of these specific things and then we'll come back to these global textiles. So for example, one thing that we often do is change up if we're using a site title instead of a logo, we like to change the font of that so it kind of stands out on the website. So here under the header group, you'll see site title. This works the same for all of the things on this list, so we'll just do one. So right now it's using a heading style, but we're going to make it custom instead. So here we can choose our font family, and there are so many, I mean, look at how long this is. There are so many fonts in Squarespace. It just goes and goes and goes. So you can, if you have a font in mind, you can use that. I'm going to do new spirit here. That one's kind of fun. And you can change the weight of it. Different fonts have different weights available, so you'll get to see what those are when you, um, after you set the font family. Some of them have the ability to italicize. It looks like the one I chose it does not. You can change the letter spacing and make the letters farther apart, closer together. You can make things uppercase lowercase, capitalize, or leave them the way you typed them. You can change the line height. That means that if the line is wrapping, it's how much space is between those lines. And then you can set the size of this so you can make it larger or smaller. So I'm going to just leave that for now. Let's go back into our fonts and let's take a look at headings next. So headings are, this is a heading four, I think this is a heading three another heading, and this is some paragraph text. So let's look at these headings first. So for headings, let's say I don't want to use pop-ins. I want to use something different. Um, let's pop over and take a look at what might be interesting. I'm going to go for an old standard here, Oswald. Um, it's a pretty kind of modern looking font. It kind of, it doesn't really match the font that I'm using for the site title, and I want that because I want some contrast there so that site title really stands out and looks like a brand element instead of just looking like the text on the site. For the um, headings, we can click on any of them and it brings you into this headings section here. And what we can do is change the font family, the font weight, so we can make all of them thicker if we wanted. Again, style and all of these things that we looked at before with the site title. And then here is where you adjust the size of each heading. So I think this one is a four, so I can make that teeny tiny larger. Uh, the three is, I think, both of these, yes. And I don't have heading two or heading one on this page, but you can imagine how it would change if I scroll this up or down. One thing that I recommend is keeping this in a hierarchy. So heading one is the largest and heading four is the smallest, just so that when you're writing text on your site, it makes sense from that hierarchical perspective. You want the most important text to go first and be the biggest, unless you have like a little eyebrow text that's heading four ahead of it. So play around with this. 
until those sizes look right for you and the font that you chose. Sometimes when you choose a font, it's on average smaller or larger than the other font you were using, so you may need to make adjustments here. You also can make adjustments to the base size of your font. So if you want everything overall to be larger, you can do that here. And it just ups everything. Or you can make it smaller. Uh, let me scroll down here so you can see how it changes everything. And we'll leave it big for now because we're just playing around. So you can make those same adjustments to save it. Let me hop back in. You can make those same adjustments to um, buttons, to paragraphs, to miscellaneous things, and again, specific adjustments within site styles or assign styles. We're in site styles. So that is how you would update your fonts. The other thing that I want to say that um, you want to be particularly careful about is the site navigation font. So this typically pulls from paragraph two on most templates. That's how it's set. You just want to make sure that this is readable, that um, if you make changes to your fonts overall, that this remains readable. If you change your paragraph font, I mean, your paragraph font should always be readable, but if you change things around and things just aren't looking right here, you can definitely come in and make adjustments here. So sometimes we make these uppercase and we add a little letter spacing to make them really stand out. So that's one adjustment that's really easy to do. You can make them have more weight than your normal paragraph and play around with that. But that's just one other part that it's good to have an eye on. Now, if you're using one of my templates that you purchased from my template shop, I've already thought about that. So you won't need to worry about it unless you change the paragraph font. You'll want to just take a look and make sure it's still working well there. But otherwise, that covers how to update fonts in Squarespace. A couple of specific questions that I get a lot, I think one I already alluded to, is within headings, um, you can't make, for example, heading four always uppercase here. To do that, you would need to write some custom code. So there are some places that you still might need custom CSS. Now, if there are specific changes that you wanna make with custom code, I'm gonna drop a link below to one of my favorite plugin shops that has a huge library of free plugins. It's called Ghost Plugins, so you can check that out. Now, I also mentioned earlier I wanted to talk about font inspiration. So again, Pinterest is a great place to find inspiration for fonts. Again, this should really come from your brand discovery and branding, but sometimes you're just trying to get a website ready and you need to lean into what's available. So. On Pinterest, I just searched for website fonts and you can see there are a ton here. So you can see which one feels the most like what you want to convey, has the same feeling that you want to convey on your site. And you can see if Squarespace has that font. They have a lot, so if they don't have the exact font, you can also Google fonts similar to Campground, for example, and see what's out there that Squarespace might have in their huge font library. Another tool I just wanted to quickly mention is a Chrome extension called What Font, and I use it a lot to see what fonts websites that I like are using. So Polar is a Seltzer brand that I like, and as I roll over here, I can see that they're using Oswald for um, their nav and for their, in, uh, oh, that's actually <laughs> I said they're using Oswald, but now that I drag that, I see that that's a photo, but they are using Oswald here. This is Playfair Display, this is Oswald, this is Beth Ellen. So you can just kind of scroll around on the website and see what fonts they're using where. So I'll drop a link below to that Chrome extension or to a blog post where I talk about Chrome extensions that I use and there's a link to this one and it's called What Font. So I hope that this was helpful and that you have fun playing with fonts on your website.